I found out, uh, frankly, the first person in the country uh, who was ever a documented case of uh, fatality in taxidermal dragging was a Tennessean. I think most people want to be law-abiding citizens. They want to do what's right. Um, they know, A, texting while driving is dangerous. Any logical person really knows doing that while you're driving is not good. Number two, it's the law. So it's one of those, I think there's a lot of people since we pass a law who probably have just gone, I, now I've got a, another reason why not to do it. So. You know, I'm a Republican, I don't like a lot of government interference. Um, so, and there were some in my party saying, you know, I think that's government interference. And they argued with me that there's already distracted driving laws on the books. My argument to that was, if they were, if our distracted driving laws were that strong, we wouldn't need drinking and driving laws because we already have that on the books. It's, that wasn't a good argument in my opinion. Um, the statistics I'd seen was, Talking on the phone increases your odds of an accident by two times. But texting while driving increases his odds by 23 times. This is not a fad. It's not going to change. And we're going to be texting uh, for a long time to come. But I absolutely have zero doubt that today there are people that are alive in Tennessee uh, because this law was passed. And it's not just the people that were texting. It's frankly you and I who were driving who didn't get hit, didn't have to swerve off the road, or a bicyclist who, who wasn't hit because of that. It's truly a safety thing. Uh, I think that's what the biggest threat still exists. And we've got to, you know, I, I am so thankful for uh, Bridgestone, AT&T, and all the folks who are, are putting out those commercials, even though some of them are shocking, especially when you see some of the ones that are online and, and uh, that really, wow. Um, but that's what this is about.